66 million years ago, a catastrophic event changed the course of life on Earth. An asteroid over 6 miles 9.65 kilometers wide slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. The impact triggered earthquakes, tsunamis, and sent massive amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere. Within a few years, 75% of all species went extinct, including the iconic dinosaurs that had dominated for over 150 million years. Their sudden disappearance left the planet ripe for new life forms to emerge and thrive. What was Earth like in the wake of this apocalyptic asteroid? How did mammals take over the planet after the reign of giant reptiles ended? What new ecosystems arose from the ashes? Join us as we explore the fascinating world of Earth after the dinosaurs. The day the asteroid hit and the aftermath. You can imagine the day the asteroid hit might have been just like any other day as it had been 130 million years prior. Perhaps a Triceratops was casually enjoying the twigs of its favourite plant, the Tyrannosaurus rex was stalking a lonely sauropod. An unusual day, just like thousands before until it wasn't. The day the asteroid hit Earth was the most chaotic day in the planet's history. A six-mile-wide space rock slammed into the shallow seas of the Yucatan Peninsula at over 40,000 miles per hour, almost 52 times faster than the speed of sound, instantly vaporizing upon impact. The energy released was equal to 10 billion atomic bombs, triggering devastating shockwaves and earthquakes felt around the globe. Massive tsunamis, hundreds of feet high, raced away from ground zero, flooding coastlines as far away as where Illinois is today. Within seconds, a fireball hundreds of miles across incinerated everything around ground zero. The unimaginable forces triggered earthquakes registering up to 12 on the Richter scale, violently shaking and fracturing the planet's crust. Enormous tsunamis reached miles inland, smashing trees and dinosaurs with waves loaded with debris. The superheated ejector from the impact soared beyond Earth's atmosphere before raining back down globally. Meteorites measuring several yards across crashed into the Earth at terminal velocity, obliterating forests and igniting firestorms. It took only minutes for the skies to blacken as incalculable tons of vaporized rock and dust created an oppressive shroud around the planet, blocking the sun for hundreds of years to come, plunging the world into freezing decades. Photosynthesis all but ceased, killing off plant species and the food chains that depended on them. As darkness descended, temperatures plunged well below freezing, even at the equator, in what essentially became a years-long nuclear winter. Without sunlight, constant storms and lightning strikes lashed the lands, while ravaging wildfires consumed all in their path. Essentially, it was hell on Earth. The seas, highly acidic from the carbon dioxide and sulfuric gases emitted by the impact, lost oxygen rapidly. Marine food chains collapsed, and coastlines were stripped of life by the unrelenting tsunamis and cold. Inland, choking fumes and soot suffocated species already struggling to find food and keep warm in the perpetual night and freezing temperatures. Unprepared for this post-apocalyptic scenario, dinosaurs and pterosaurs died by the billions over months and years. It was the end of the greatest dynasty the world had ever seen. No ecosystem on Earth was spared from the catastrophic changes wrought by the asteroid strike. The planet became an inhospitable, toxic wasteland, hostile even to the most resilient organisms. But some tiny mammals, birds and plants did endure in small pockets, paving the way for the rise of a new world order no longer dominated by dinosaurs. The Rise of Mammals Years after the wake of the mass extinction, the surviving mammals found an open ecological playing field, free from dinosaur domination. Having lived in the shadows of these giant reptiles for over 150 million years, early mammal species evolved traits that now proved advantageous. Being relatively small, mammals were better able to find shelter, evade predators, and survive on limited resources in the harsh post-impact world. Their warm-blooded metabolism allowed them to endure extreme shifts in global temperatures as well. Freed from evolutionary constraints, mammals diversified rapidly into vacant ecological niches. Herbivorous mammals emerged to fill the role of giant sauropod dinosaurs that once consumed vast amounts of vegetation. 
Small, insectivorous mammals took over niches previously occupied by carnivorous dinosaur species. One of the earliest mammals to thrive was Eomaya scansoria, a rat-sized creature that resembled a cross between a possum and a shrew. Likely a tree dweller, Eomaya likely fed on insects, eggs, and plants in the earliest days following the impact. Larger, sheep-sized herbivores like the Tyaneodonta also appeared, feeding on shrubs and ferns. These small browsers helped forests eventually recover from the long impact winter by dispersing seeds through their droppings. Mammals like the six-foot-long Simolestes took advantage of the absence of large theropod carnivores like T. rex, evolving into apex predators themselves. Simolestes hunted smaller mammals, birds, reptiles, and fish across western North America. While nowhere near the size of the behemoth dinosaurs, these early mammals dominated the small to medium-sized niches for millions of years as they continued to diversify. Evolutionarily nimble, mammals adapted to fill both land and marine ecosystems in the absence of ruling dinosaurs. From tiny insects to modest-sized predators, mammals ensured their own dominance by occupying every available niche as the world recovered. Evolutionary innovations the vacant niches left behind by the dinosaurs allowed for an explosion of evolutionary innovation among the survivors. With extreme selective pressures, adaptations emerged that ensured species would thrive in the post-impact world. One of the most important was the rapid spread and diversification of flowering plants. With dinosaurs no longer dominating the landscape, flowering plants evolved methods to attract new pollinators, insects, birds and mammals. Vibrant petals and nectar lured animals, encouraging pollination and seed dispersal are examples of the beautiful roses we have. In marine environments, large reptilian sea creatures like plesiosaurs and mosasaurs disappeared. This allowed great whale species to emerge, occupying the oceans. Whales better adapted to colder waters thrived, spreading across the seas. On land, birds took advantage of open skies vacated by pterosaurs. Enormous terrestrial birds like Gastornis evolved to fill the large herbivore niche. Without sauropods trampling forests or large theropods preying on them, early horse species diversified and spread. Entirely unique species emerged as well. Enormous asdarkid pterosaurs with wingspans over 30 feet evolved to hunt terrestrial and marine prey. Giant ground sloths, massive rhino-like brontotheres and bear dogs became prevalent. These interconnected evolutionary changes shaped ecosystems worldwide. Fruit-bearing forests expanded, spreading seeds via mammal and bird ingestion. Whales became the first fully aquatic tetrapods, engineering marine environments. Primitive horses dispersed herbivorous grazing mammals across continents. The dramatic evolutionary innovations triggered by the asteroid impact built the biodiversity that allowed mammals and eventually humanity to thrive. Changing Landscapes in the bleak millennia immediately following the impact event, Earth's landscapes were virtually unrecognizable. Vast wildfires had decimated forests, leaving endless charred wastelands. Giant tsunamis scoured coastlines, obliterating landmarks. Entire habitats were rendered barren from the long impact winter. Gradually, the skies cleared and temperatures rose as dust settled and carbon dioxide drew heat into the atmosphere. With dinosaur domination ended, new types of forests emerged composed of flowering trees and plants. Soon rainforests and deciduous forests covered the land. Meanwhile, ongoing volcanic activity and shifting tectonic plates continued to shape the world. Volcanic eruptions increased, pumping gases into the recovering atmosphere. The breakup of continents allowed new ocean currents to flow between land masses emerging from the seas. As the Cenozoic era progressed, Antarctica drifted to the pole and gradually glaciated over. Grasses evolved and spread, changing plains into savannas. Whales spread through the oceans, influencing the migration of nutrients. Earth transformed into a fertile, vibrant world. Where towering conifers once lined the coasts of North America, broadleaf deciduous forests now hosted new species. Lands once muted in shades of ferns took on riotous color from flowering plants. Empty seas once patrolled by mosasaurs became rich whale highways. Earth's landscapes recovered, then surpassed pre-extinction lushness and diversity. From the bleakest extinction, a new vibrant world emerged. The landscapes shaped by geological forces provided fertile ground for evolutionary innovations to take hold. This ushered in the age of mammals and the next chapter for life on Earth. 
bizarre creatures and megafauna. In the absence of dinosaurs, all sorts of bizarre and exotic creatures evolved to fill ecological niches. Giant birds like Titanis and Kalenken terrorized prey with hooked beaks and talons. Enormous pterosaurs like Quetzalcoatlus with 34-foot wingspans walked on all fours and hunted prey. Megafauna mammals also emerged, including giant ground sloths and armadillo-like glyptodonts. These thick-skinned beasts grew to the size of cars, feeding on vegetation despite lacking dexterity due to their massive claws. Huge rhino-like brontotheres evolved to become the largest land mammals on Earth after dinosaurs. These megafauna grew up to 26 feet long and weighed over 15,000 pounds. Brontotheres had forked horns they likely used for competition and defense. Gigantic predatory flightless birds up to 10 feet tall evolved to hunt mammals across Europe. One species, Pachystruthio, had powerful legs and a thick neck perfect for ambush hunting. Strange hoofed mammal relatives called Uintotheres had spectacular three-foot-long bony protrusions sticking out from their snouts. These bizarre structures may have been used to impress mates. The oceans hosted their own monsters, like 50-foot-long primitive whales called Basilosaurus. This serpent-like apex predator had jaws full of four-inch teeth dominating the seas. Freed from the presence of ruling dinosaurs, mammals and birds took on a stunning diversity of massive and peculiar new forms. From saber-toothed marsupials to giant beavers, the mammals that inherited the planet continued growing larger and more extraordinary as the Cenozoic era progressed. Rise of Humanity The post-dinosaur world nurtured the first stirrings of humanity. As landscapes transformed from wasteland to forest, ancient primates descended from trees and adapted to life on the ground. These early mammals evolved larger brains to navigate increasing complexities. About 20 million years after the impact event, hominid ancestors like Proconsul emerged. These apes inhabited forests, foraging and sleeping in trees but walking on two legs on the ground. Further specialized bipeds arose, eventually leading to the Australopithecines like the famed Lucy. By 20 million years ago, tool-wielding humans took form, including the emergence of Homo habilis. Primitive cultures arose that made use of stone, bone and wood. As large mammals proliferated, early humans evolved more complex hunting skills, language and societies. The changing conditions on Earth opened new environmental niches selected for intelligence and set the stage for Homo sapiens to arise. Our human lineage owes its existence to the post-dinosaur world where mammals could flourish and apes could come down from the trees to walk upright. We stand today as the beneficiaries of that extinction event. The asteroid impact 66 million years ago was a catastrophic event that reshaped life on Earth. Yet, from such devastation arose new opportunities. With dinosaurs gone, mammals and other species radiated into vacant niches, sparking evolutionary innovations. Dramatic adaptations allowed life to rebound from the brink of annihilation. Earth's landscapes gradually transformed to support new ecosystems. The story of our post-dinosaur world is one of resilience, renewal and the indomitable persistence of life on a dynamic planet. Even an apocalypse cannot stop the ever-unfolding dance of evolution across deep time. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you'd like further content like this, do consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.